Hello everyone. Um, my name is Tom. I'm a transitions coach at Youth Projects. Um, I'm assuming that because you're in this um, or watching this video that you are interested in um, doing some online education um, or wanting to learn more about online education as a whole. Um, so basically what I'm going to run through today um, is basically everything from A to Z um, of learning online, the types of courses, um, what it actually looks like. Um, I'll talk a little bit about my experiences learning online um, and also yeah, give, give you a good overview um, of the flexibility that's available, but also um, the different courses and different tapes that you might be able to learn at. Um, yeah, so before I get started, um, basically I was able to complete my degree um, partly online, partly um, uh, in a face-to-face -face format, more traditional um, classroom. I, I feel like um, online gave me a lot more flexibility in terms of the times um, I was able to learn. I was able to condense my days um, of classwork and uh, watching lectures and um, that sort of thing. And then able to uh, really tailor my times where I could do assignments to something that worked around my own personal schedule. So for me, it gave me great flexibility. Um, and I think uh, one thing that I was worried about was um, it might have not made me as a cannibal. Um, as I probably should be if I was in a formal classroom, but um, uh, you are actually very um, motivated by the teachers. There is those deadlines. There is um, a lot of accountability. It doesn't allow you to fall behind just like in a normal classroom and there is a lot of support. So um, hopefully I can um, give you all uh, and some insight into that um, throughout this uh, video as well as um, clear up any questions that you might have. So we'll get started. Um, this will work. Okay, so here's a, um, a little bit of a quote that I think um, sums up using this opportunity that we all have um, while staying home. Um, to really forge your own path. So Abraham Lincoln said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Um, and I think going out and uh, securing yourself a, a qualification um, in a work ready um, degree, like something like a Cert 3 in aged care or something along those lines, um, so that when we're all able to go back to normal, you're able to um, jump straight in the workforce is forging your own path, creating um, opportunities um, and really setting yourself up for the future. Um, so here's a little bit about what we're going to go over today. So um, the main thing, what is online study? So it can um, conjure up lots of different ideas of uh, what you might actually be doing, how do you learn, um, what support is available. So we're going to discuss that. Uh, what type of courses um, can you even do in an online format? What career outcomes we'll touch on? Um, how much does it cost is a big question that everyone might have. Um, myths and misconceptions. Um, about what it's like to learn online, um, how would I keep motivated, uh, and what's the next step after um, you watch this video? How do you move on um, uh, and come up and create a goal? So, what is online study? Um, so, I think the number one point is online study is just like a classroom, um, but done from, I guess, the comfort of your own home or wherever you feel like um, you would learn best. So um, depending on the course um, and TAFE that you would study at, um, there's a little bit of flexibility. So you may have set times where you'd need to log in um, and participate in an online class um, uh, using programs like uh, either Zoom or Microsoft Teams or Google um, Classroom, um, where you have to log in at say 9 a.m. in the morning, class goes for two hours, um, and then once you leave, that's when you would do some book work. Um, so that would give you, something like that would give you a chance to have direct communication with uh, teachers and classmates um, in a live format. Um, so very similar to the um, in-classroom uh, traditional learning aspect. Uh, so alternatively, a TAFE such as Chisholm, um, who have a really advanced online portal, uh, where you can log in um, at a time that suits you, learn at a time um, that suits you and do it from um, a place that you're comfortable. Um, you have the f flexibility of completing assignments and tasks as quick or as slow as you like. 
Um, so in their sort of um, format, you're able to, um, you could smash out a six month course in three months, um, or you could do a six month course in 12 months if that was something that would be um, uh, better for you. So you, you can really tailor it um, to your um, own environment. Um, there's also online forums uh, and chats where you can collaborate with other students and teachers to get the support you need. Um, so no matter what stage you're at. So um, everyone can be learning at different stages, but that support is there um, at a, on a continuous scale. So um, just because you'd be learning at home in that sort of format doesn't mean uh, you're in it alone. Uh, so like previously mentioned, you can potentially learn as quick as you want. Um, so I'll break down what Chisholm do a little bit more. Uh, so each course has uh, 10 modules um, uh, that require approximately about 10 hours to complete each. Um, so across the four terms of the year, you can divide those modules up evenly, um, or you can complete them uh, all in one term. Um, so it's up to you uh, and how you learn best. Um, the learning materials are available 24 seven. Uh, so those that like to sleep in, um, this may be perfect for you. Um, interactive classes, quizzes and videos will be posted regularly um, to help you learn and stay engaged in the courses that you choose. So um, very much tailored and very self-directed learning. Um, so alternative to that type of freedom, uh, other courses um, and providers such as Baxter Institute or um, ISTA Security, um, you will be required to log into an online classroom at a set time. Uh, you'll submit your workbooks in an online forum um, or potentially through paper copies by sending them in the post. Um, and once again, there are many options that you can work with uh, your transitions coach to find what is best for you. Um, it is a very flexible um, space, the online learning um, area. So um, whatever you think would be best for you, and uh, there will be an option, uh, I'm sure. So what type of courses, um, um, so what courses, what actual courses can you do? Um, there are a large range of options um, available to students um, that cover just about every industry um, or ability really. So um, if you wanted to engage in a more traditional high school curriculum, um, you can complete your VCE through an online setting. Um, so that might be something that people want to do. Um, or if you want to do, I guess, more work uh, related skills along with improving your literacy and numeracy, um, you can complete VCAL online as well. Um, and you can do that at all three different levels, foundation, intermediate and senior. So um, if you wanted to go back and do more traditional schooling, um, that's definitely an option um, in an online forum. Um, so I guess moving on to the more traditional, traditional TAFE courses, um, Cert 3 in education support, um, which qualifies you to work as a teacher's aide um, and assist students with special needs in a school setting, um, is a really growing industry. Um, currently, um, there is a lot of work available um, and probably will be in the near future. So um, if that's something that interests you, that is something that can be completed around six months. Um, obviously, you can do your Cert 3 um, in individual support as well. So either the disability or aged care streams, um, which qualifies you to support either elderly people or those with a disability, live independently and um, live a dignified life. Um, so this is also an industry um, that is booming um, and one that uh, tends to pay fairly well um, and has great job security. So um, on those two classes, a six month commitment uh, and be work ready at the end of it. Um, moving on, we have uh, the sort of more traditional um, Cert 3, Cert 4 in business and accounting. Um, I think they're a bit straightforward. Um, Cert 4 in community services, which can enable you to work in, um, I guess, dozens of different areas that are focused on supporting people um, and helping those that might be disadvantaged. Um, so if you care about helping people, you want to work with people and support them in their better lives, that can be a great um, pathway into that. Um, cert for in mental health, which is really, I guess, focused um, uh, on helping people with mental health issues. Um, if you wanted to do psychology or something along those lines, this could be a great learning platform uh, where you 
could start with this and then move on to more advanced degrees like diplomas or bachelors. Um, as well as that, um, there can you can do a Cert 3 in companion animal services remotely, um, uh, Cert 2 and Cert 3 in security, um, which would allow you to become a qualified security guard or crowd controller um, over the course of just 17 days um, learning online. Um, so you can become job ready in a very short amount of time um, in an industry where there are lots of jobs at the moment as well. Um, you can even do a Cert 3, Cert 4 in beauty services. Um, and look, there's many, many more. Uh, so if there are courses or industries that you are interested in um, that I haven't yet discussed, um, please feel free to uh, uh, reach out to your um, coach or employment um, consultant and they will discuss all the options with you. Um, so while there's some of these courses that would be really great to do um, at the moment, I think there's probably a few that need to be avoided. So in my research, um, you might find some courses that might be like a Cert 3 in plumbing or a Cert 3 in carpentry. You think, great, learn online, uh, become a carpenter. Um, but these are very practical and hands-on courses that will likely make it difficult to find employment. Um, as they are usually apprenticeship-based. So um, look, make sure you speak to your coach about what you're interested in doing. They'll help you navigate those and um, uh, identify anything that might not be beneficial to you long-term. So how much does it cost? Um, this is a, obviously a very burning question. Um, so courses, the short answer is courses can vary greatly. Um, as a rule, uh, most of the traditional type courses um, at somewhere like Chisholm or Baxter, um, uh, they range from around uh, almost free um, to $500 um, if you are on a government subsidized position with a concession card. Um, so I know at Chisholm, basically what they do is feed about $50 per module, 10 modules, um, you pay it as you go. So um, if you divided a, a, a course over 12 months, as little as $10 a week if you did it in six, obviously um, about $20 a week um, to become qualified in an industry that you want to work in. Um, so it can be very affordable and these payment plans are fairly consistent through a lot of different um, courses and uh, TAFE providers. Um, for some of the more expensive courses, like obviously something like beauty, um, where materials um, for your toolkit can be very costly. Um, financial support may be um, available through um, providers like Reconnect, um, who are focused on helping uh, people engage in education um, through financial support. So they might be able to provide um, support to help you um, get into education and uh, assist with those costs. Um, they can also provide some support with advocacy as well as helping with enrolments and things like that. Um, so yeah, please speak to your, um, uh, your coach if you're having um, questions about what things cost and how you'll pay for it. Um, there definitely can be some support there, um, payment plans um, or even um, uh, ways to advocate on your behalf to the TAFE through financial disadvantage and things like that. So there are lots of options. Don't see the price and just um, assume that it's not doable. Um, I'm sure we can work something out. Um, so something like security. Um, so as little as $100, um, 17 days, you can um, become qualified as a security guard. Um, so yeah, lo lots of options um, and many can be very affordable. So um especially if you're like re receiving the um, COVID stimulus um through your Centrelink, um basically one fortnightly payment of that can um cover your study for an entire year um and really set you up uh, with a qualification that you can use for the rest of your life so um yeah please speak to your coach about your options but um it is often a, a very affordable um, pathway So myths and misconceptions. So um, I guess I, especially when I started studying online, had a, an idea of what it would be. Um, honestly, I thought I'd be able to just turn on my computer, um, put my screen to sleep and relax. Uh, that's not the case. Um, it's very engaging. Uh, there are classrooms, there are teachers, there are motivators. 
there are tasks, there are assignments. It is very much the same. You just do it from your own home. Um, so the first misconception is you don't learn much. So I was also worried about that. Maybe I'm not gonna get the same amount of attention from a teacher. Um, uh, that's not necessarily the case. So I guess there can be bad learning experiences um, online, uh, but just like there can be crap classrooms, I'm sure um, those that are watching this video may have experienced that. Um, maybe you didn't have a great teacher or um, what have you in high school. So it does happen. Um, but online learning has developed a lot in, the, in recent years. Um, uh, and there are a lot of support services and the teachers are there um, to provide you with the service that is that quality of um, in-classroom. So um, they have, it, it is their job to guide you through the course um, and give you as much information and support as possible. Um, so, uh, don't think that you're not going to get as much out of it as if you were learning um, in class. Uh, you definitely should, and you most likely will. Um, so on class, online classes are easier than traditional classes. Uh, so some people may believe that online will be easier. Um, this is not the case. It will be the same work, same assignments, um, and same tests uh, as you would do in class. Um, it can be just as demanding, um, which I'll... I guess to my last point, also means that you'll learn just as much. Um, so online classes will not help me get a job like a normal class would. So um, I guess this can be true in a sense. Um, it's true some online classes don't um, or don't have as great a reputation, um, like those physically demanding ones um, that I was talking about earlier. Um, but as long as you're doing an accredited course with a reputable organisation, your qualification will be just as valuable. So um, if you were doing something like aged care um, or early childhood education, there's gonna be a component of placement um, as well. So you will um, be getting that on the job experience uh, and learning. Um, and uh, in terms of the book work you're submitting, it is the same format and it is exactly the same question. So, um, uh, often, and in most cases, it is just as respected um, as an in-class learning um, qualification. Um, so the other one is online students don't get teacher support. So depending on your course, um, often you even get more interaction with the teacher and classmates. Um, so there is lots of different variabilities um, in the way that you can communicate. That can be like in an online forum, um, like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Um, it could be uh, through chat rooms, live chat rooms. Uh, it could be forums similar to those of like Reddit or something along those lines where people can just plug in a question, um, get help from other classmates, from teachers, and then everyone can learn off that. Um, so if someone asks a question, um, maybe you've got the same question that can be answered. Um, uh, and you can discuss that with other people that have the same query. Um, webinars similar to this one, um, video chats, quizzes, um, all that sort of stuff. So the teachers are accessible. They're even accessible 24 seven. You can send an email at one o'clock in the morning if that's when the question comes up. Um, and I'm sure they would answer it within a day or two. So um, yeah, it can even be more flexible and you have more support. Um, and the last one, you must be really tech savvy to learn online. Um, that's not necessarily the case. Most courses are gonna be fairly easy to navigate. Um, like something like a Zoom conference or um, even like Google Docs, um, most interfaces are going to be uh, fairly easy to navigate. Um, as long as you sort of know your way around a computer, um, you should be able to learn fairly easily. Um, and uh, every TAFE and uni is going to be very um, accommodating to help you navigate that as well. So um, that should be a concern. Um, one thing I do want to raise, if you don't have a, a access to a computer, um, or internet, please speak to your um, coach about that. Um, there are support services available. There are loan systems. There are um, interest-free loans. There are many options that you can use to um, gain the tools needed to study online. Um, you just need to have that conversation with your coach um, and they'll be sure to help you out. Okay. So. How would I stay motivated? Um, 
So if you've decided to study online, um, you might be concerned about how do I motivate myself without having to get up at a certain time and go to a classroom. Um, and I, I've got a few tips and I guess um, some things that might be beneficial to that. Um, the number one thing you must do is just be invested. So um, work closely with your coach to pick the right course for you. Um, it will be far easier to learn something that you enjoy and are motivated to succeed in. If you don't want to be doing the course, um, if you're just doing it for something to do um, and you don't really care about working in the aged care industry, um, it's going to be hard to stay motivated and do your assignments. If you're really wanting to pursue that, um, it's going to be really easy to learn and it's going to be really easy to get that work done because you want to do it. Um, so make sure that you're invested in what you do. Um, Um, the next one, keep a routine. This is relevant to online study, um, but also life in general. I think right now, um, with everything going on, um, online study can help you develop a routine. So um, uh, maybe it's something like setting your alarm at a certain time to do your um, webinars in the morning. Um, so that can really help um, with your life aspect, but also it can in turn um, help with your study if you've got a routine. Um, and then you can also um, use this time to know that you're, uh, I guess, using um, your lockdown to achieve something, um, gain a qualification and move forward, which can also help you motivate it, stay motivated in a time that's difficult for everyone. Um, third tip, stay connected. Um, rely on your teachers uh, and your, your transitions coach or employment consultant. Um, you're going to be well supported um, to succeed um, from your um, TAFE teachers, your TAFE support services, um, and your transition coach uh, can help you navigate that entire process, find the services, advocate on your behalf, um, and help you with anything that you might have related to your, your education. Um, so yeah, don't think that you're not going to be supported. Um, Oh, sorry. Um, so what's the next step? I think um, you've gone through this, you've heard about a course that you really like, um, or you've got a career that you would like to study in or a qualification that you want to gain. Um, first thing you need to do is do some research. So um, have a look around, just do some simple Google searches for course names or um, jobs that you might want to do and um, something like a uh, counsellor, um, how do I become a counsellor? Or what course do I need to do to become a counsellor? Um, and that'll link you to different study areas and then you can discuss with your coach what course might be right for you or what TAFE might be right for you. So um, yeah, have a look around, um, do some research and collect that information and yeah, definitely discuss that with your transitions coach at your next appointment. Um, speak to your family and friends. Uh, maybe they have experiences, insights, um, encouragement. Um, tell them what you want to do and um, maybe they can um, help steer you in the right direction as well and um, give you some insight from people they know. Um, the people around you are often the greatest resource. Um, and then, yeah, obviously speak to your coach again. Um, any questions that you have will be answered by them. And um, they, if you've got a question that's specific to a course or TAFE, um, they will be more than happy to call that TAFE on your behalf um, and advocate for you, um, line up enrollment sessions, um, help you fill out enrollment forms, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So um, you just have to let them know um, and make sure that you um, raise anything that you um, uh, might have a question about. And I think last one, have an open mind. Um, go into it uh, being willing to learn and. Um, uh, open to your options because there's a lot out there and uh, I think you might be surprised uh, at what you can accomplish throughout this time. So um, that's the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, write them down now um, and feel free to text them, email them um, to your coach or even just raise them at your next appointment. Um, I hope this was insightful and you got something out of it. Um, and good luck if you decide to study.